Hello everyone, Will again here and today I'm joined by Ellie and Ed because they're going to help me get the sheep in but we've got a little bit of a problem today guys, we have got some itchy sheep and I'm going to explain more in the video why we've got itchy sheep and how we're going to resolve it but yeah guys, if you do enjoy it today, please give it a massive like if you want to see more stuff like this, please smash that subscribe button and don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven Cheers guys! Right guys, so the plan of action, we're going to get round all these, go into that far field up there, push them all down, if one of us goes down one side, if the other goes this side, someone down the middle, we should get them in the pen alright, but we'll see how we get on. Show off your new bib and brace now, so Ellie's got some new Kai Wacker bib and brace. Kind of thank you to Laura from Roxanne Tag sorting that out, I've got mine on too, you can't beat the Kai Wacker stuff. Come on guys, come on! So guys, that is all the sheep in, and ideally they went in really easy. Just ask Ed and Ellie. That is the easiest the sheep have gone in for a long time. Yeah. It may be the fact that we use 40 hurdles, but the more the merrier. Um, yeah. Right guys, so Ed just popped off to do another job, so it's down to me and Ellie now. So as I said before, we have a problem with some itchy sheep. So I'll just flip the camera around. As you can see, there's just a few ewes in here with some itchy fleeces. They've lost some wool and there's an odd lamb that's just a bit itchy so what we're going to be doing today we're going to be injecting all the using lambs with ivermectin and we're also going to be spraying them crovec so guys there are two reasons that they might be itchy and that's why we're doing two things to the sheep so number one the sheep could have some lice and that would mean they're little lice that basically irritate the skin so they itch to try and get them off so by spraying them with crovec that means it kills them and the problem goes away and the other reason could be is sheep scab. So I will quickly pause the video now and tell you what sheep scab is. So, Hi guys, so I stopped the video here just because I thought I'd be able to give a better description after I finished filming today. So basically what scab is, is a type of mite which lives in the skin's surface. Um, and what it does, it leaves its feces on the adult, sorry, on the sheep's skin. So what this does is cause irritation in the skin and makes them want to itch but with scab unlike other lice and mites it makes them really sore and a bit blistered so you need to prevent this from happening and if you do have it get onto it really quick because it can cause ill health to the sheep and just it isn't very nice at all but yeah I hope that helped guys and explained it a bit better. Right so hopefully I explained sheep scab pretty well but we have no idea how we got it on the farm because well if we have got it, it might be lice we have no idea how we got it just because um, there's basically no other sheep around us so it is only passed on sheep to sheep and we have no idea but we'd rather try and cure it now so we're going to inject with ivermectin as that's pretty effective and it's a long acting so helps for a long time and later in the summer when the lambs are a bit older we're going to plunge dip them so plunge dipping is basically where they get submerged in a liquid, uh, well a chemical, and it kills absolutely everything 100%, but as the lambs are quite young we can't do that yet, so we're going for the second best option which is injecting them with ivermectin. But yeah, hopefully all of that has pretty much explained what we're going to be doing today, so we're going to crack on now, what we're going to do is make a little pen in the corner, I haven't got the race for me and all that, so we're going for hurdles today, make a little pen in the corner, I'm going to do the use. Ellie's going to do the lambs or vice versa and then we're going to crow back together so it's going to work really well hopefully don't take too long touch wood so we're going to get through these and we've got 30 odd hogs to do so there are ewe lambs that are a year old so they're a year old ewes 
and then we've also got the tops that are soon to be shaling tops so busy day hopefully we get through it pretty quick So guys, we are now onto the third batch of using lambs. We're getting through them really quickly and even better. The sun has come out, so the hat might even come off. I know it's a rare thing, but yeah, this, it might come off. So first of all, what we've been doing by the video you've seen so far, we've been injecting the using lambs. So what we've been injecting with is ivermectin, so it's like this. So the using lambs are actually getting a different form of ivermectin each. And this is because of something called a withdrawal period. So a withdrawal period means how long do you have to wait before they can go into the food chain. So obviously with a lamb, some of these might have to go into a food chain in less than so many days. So the two have different withdrawals. The one Ellie's using has a 70 day withdrawal, where the one that I've got here for the use, the side actin, this has over a 100 day withdrawal. And as we probably will have lambs ready for the fat trade by June time we really need them to be able to go so we're injecting them with a different one and that is why so now we're going to show you exactly how we inject the lambs so Ellie if you grab a lamb there I'll grab the marker ready so if you just inject one in the neck so just like so and then we mark them just like this and that's it done fairly easy you're going to do another one do you want to do this one now so injection in the neck doesn't hurt them at all and that's it done so guys, like I said before, the ewes are getting a slightly different um, type of ivermectin, so these are on cydectin, and these are actually on a 4 mil dose, where the lambs are on a 0.75, so this is just dependent on the size of the ewe. So we're going off an 80 kilo ewe, uh, with the hogs we'll probably go off 60 kilos, so it's basically 1 mil per 20 kilos of weight, and the lambs it's slightly different because it's different chemicals. So basically you, same as a lamb, just basically inject them into the neck, done. So this is an intermuscular injection, so you inject it into the muscle, unlike the pen strep we did the other day, sorry, the heptovac we did the other day, which is under the skin. So that's the using lambs done with the injection, so that one's against scab, as we said before. So now what we're doing is we're crovectin, or ectoflying. So basically this is a spot on thing, so if what I do here is spray it on the ewe. So this one gets a 40 mil dose, so it's at 20 mil. And what a lamb gets, so if you do a lamb, it gets one spray and obviously you can see it's blue so we don't have to mark them afterwards it's really quick so i'll just do another you here let you go two squirts and they're done so yeah now we're going to get down get through all these and let them out and they'll all be done then there's just a few more using lambs to go out so we're definitely going halfway now and then we'll be done so we'll crack one of these and we'll get back to some music
So guys, that is all the use limes done. So it's a bit of a racket now. We're just gonna pop them in a fresh field. So you've got to move them into a new field once they've all been jabbed and sprayed, just so that they can't recatch it from the same field. But yeah, we're gonna do that now. And we're gonna get the hogs and then we're done. So let's crack on with that. Come on guys, come on. Come on guys, come on! Right guys, so I'm now down at the hog use. So these are a year old, so these were last year's lambs. We've got 28 in here, as obviously we lamb some of them. And for all those people who have been with my channel a lot, the one and only Barbie is in this field, so she's one of the blue spot wherever she is, but they're growing so well now, coming on really nicely. And obviously these will be used that will have lambs this year. So we'll just get these out of this field, get them in, get them done. They shouldn't take too long as there's only 28, but looking really well. Let's get them in. Right, so I'm ready to open the pen because they're pushing the sheet down and they're going quite quick. And if I'm not there, there's nowhere for the sheet to get in. They're just going down there with the mule. So I'll get him back to the penny. Go on. Go on, girls. Right, that is all the hogs in. So all these, like I said before, we're gonna do the same as with the U's, but they kind of have a lower dose. So we're gonna get all these injected and spray them back out. And then we're going to the tops. I forgot about them before, but there's not many of them to do, but we'll get these on and we'll be off. So that is them all done, it only literally took five minutes, they're all sprayed, all injected, all looking so well, you can just see in here how well they're looking, how fit they're looking, they're coming on really well these hogs, and for Soph, if she is watching or anyone else interested, here's Barbie, she's coming on really well, aren't you girl? Hello! Right, so that's all those hogs done. We're now going to head off to the tops and get those sorted. Go on, boys. Come on. Go on. You jump in there and just walk forward. Thank you. Go on. Go on, grab the car, please. Go on, guys. Go on, boys. Hi guys, sorry about this, but unfortunately for some reason my mic was not working on this last bit, but massive thank you for watching today guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, please smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers!